me and Nebraska furniture mart right now. Me, my mommies, my sister, you know we're They want me to get this dresser. And I like the dresser, but I don't really want to pay this much for it, but I'm not gonna get this. This, okay, hold on. Okay, so it's big. Y'all see the first ah! Okay, but it's big. I got all these drawers. And then, look at how deep it is. This up here is the barcode, and this shows, you know. I got the dresser. Order, order, and all that stuff. Customer service is up here. Actually, let me. Uh, I'm trying to vlog. <laughs> okay, so. Um. We just went and looked at, stop looking at me. So we just went and looked at, earlier today, we went and looked at uh, stuff in Nebraska Furniture Mart, this is where I was earlier. And I got that dresser. Um, you know, I hurt my feelings a little bit, but I got the dresser. It's a very nice dresser. Um, I know it's going to last, it's sturdy. And I like that the drawers were really deep. So, that way I'm able to stuff all of my stuff in there and I don't have to put so much in my closet you know I can space things out and organize it a little bit better so you know that makes me happy because right now my dresser at home I can't fit nothing in there it's little but yeah so then we went to Abuelo's we ate I don't want to vlog that um and we were coming back home. We just dropped my stepmom off and we we're coming back home. And we stopped at the mattress place that's like up the road from us. And yeah. And well, I don't need these people knowing my location. They're stalkers on the internet, mommy. Do you know how many? What was that team you said it was mean? They didn't like the dresser. What, what you mean? No, I didn't say that. You don't post your dress online. No. No. But yeah, um, she turns the music out. And then we stopped at the mattress place that's down the street around the corner from my house. Um, and he cut us a good deal on a nice mattress. So, I will either go with that one or we'll, we'll try on this one other place, right, Mommy? We'll try on this one other place and depending on what's what, if the prices are comparable or, you know, since he cut us a deal, I may fool with him. He's a little small business. You gotta support small businesses, okay? But yeah. So that's where I met on apartment hunting. Um, so yeah, I just really need a mattress now, a nightstand, bar stools, and then I'm gonna get my couch after I move in because I wanna make sure that it's enough space. Oh, they gonna copyright me. Cause you got this music going. It's okay, I don't already. We done already. You can edit out the background noise. It's, it's curtains at this point. So yeah. Um, I'm screaming and then she proceeds to turn it up. Oh my God. But yeah, I look so pretty. I think it's coming along well. Oh. So yeah. That's what we are with apartment hunting today on today's episode of Avery the Adult. Okay, y'all. Um, today is ooh, 
today is April, not April, Lord. Today is March 21st. Um, it's a Sunday. And I guess this task that I've been putting myself on is finding a washer and dryer because my apartment does not come with a washer and dryer and I can rent them, but it doesn't really make sense. I'll be spending more money if I just rent them versus just actually buying my own washer and dryer because the rental is like $37 a month for both washer and dryer but like I can pay and buy a little cheapy still decent washer and dryer that's gonna be the exact same because it's used just like the ones I would have been renting so you see what I'm saying like it just makes more sense for me to buy them instead of renting them so i've been looking on facebook marketplace because that's a good resource to find stuff and i found a washer and dryer for 250 it's in between hutchins and boss springs um so i'm gonna go pick that up now we're gonna go look at it if i like it i'll pay her the rest of the money um I gave her fifty dollars just to like a little deposit to hold them for me, but I think I'm going to like them, so I'm gonna finish paying her the rest of the money, and then I'm really done looking for stuff, at least the stuff that I needed before I moved in. Um, only next, I only thing left I need is to actually buy the mattress, even though I already know what mattress that I'm going to get. Um, so I have to buy the mattress, and then maybe like some sheets. And pillows but like that stuff i can get the day i move in type shit like i don't have to go and get that right now if i really don't want to um so yeah i'm very proud of myself for being able to afford and organize and coordinate and find everything that i need for my apartment right now um very 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 proud of me so yeah that's really all i have to probably say on about this um as far as what else I will need for my apartment, my bedroom is pretty much taken care of. Like, I need stands, but I know what nice stands I'm going to get. Um, a hamper. You can get a hamper anywhere. And that's just, like, the bare necessities. Of course, I can get organization and decoration and maybe, like, a vanity. But I need to see how my room is laid out how much space I have for a chair and then that'll determine if I actually get a chair in there if I can get a vanity in there um so yeah that's where I'm at on my bedroom you know bathroom stuff is easy I can go get a shower curtain a liner rugs and mats two brush holders all of that is like day of moving in type stuff uh so yeah and then my living room um I'm using my bonus to pay for my couch but I can't figure out which couch I need until I move in and measure. So the game plan for moving day is I get my keys on April 9th and then I'm going to measure everything. Um, I'm not gonna move anything in cause that's a Friday and I ain't gonna ask nobody to help me move nothing on a Friday, but I'm gonna move everything in on that Saturday, which is the 10th have everything in there, help have everybody help me set up furniture, like build my bed and little stuff like that. And yeah, that's just really it. We just doing it piece by piece because there's certain stuff that I can't get until I get in there and I measure. So, but other than that, I mean, it's just gonna be real easy piece of stuff together because I already have the vision in mind of what I want. I just need to make sure that it's able to fit. So yeah. We will no longer be at this address that I'm sitting at right now on April 10th, honey. And I am just grateful, 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 grateful. It's coming really, really fast, but it's going really, really slow. Like, I got approved for the apartment at the end of February, I think, or very, very beginning of March. So, I I've I've waited a whole month and a half almost to get into the apartment, and I'm just glad that it's finally coming to an end very very happy oh and as far as my hair goes we're taking these down because yeah like no <laughs> to 
this. So we're going to take these down today. Um, I'm probably wearing my fro for about two weeks. And then I get... <laughs> and then I will get my hair done on the 3rd. Which is also my delta -versary. But Yeah, I'm getting some knotless uh, box braids. Some goddess knotless box braids on the 3rd. And then that'll just kind of be like that. Um, and that'll be my moving hair. Because I don't want to have my real hair when I'm dealing with all of that furniture and moving to be hot. Just throw that shit up in a bun and be done with it. So, yeah. That's a little life update. That's what I got going on. Uh, maybe in another clip, I'll probably show y'all how I style my apartment and, like, the creative direction and how I put pieces together online and stuff like that. Um, I'll probably make another video for that because I think I have a, a really good visualizing skill so yeah i wanted to be an interior decorator actually i wanted to be an interior decorator when i was younger so finally having my own apartment to decorate is really really just fulfilling and it makes my heart smile because i just know it's gonna go crazy <laughs> so yeah uh i'll holla back at y'all if i actually get the washer and dryer or not i probably will but yeah so guys, we got a washer and dryer. I'm very excited, very, very happy. Everything went smooth, copacetic. I don't care about like the little scratch right here, but like they look good, they look good. And then I have to deep clean this, but I like it has the, the steel drum. And then the dryer pretty decent size dryer so I can toss a whole bunch of stuff in there. Got this right here. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. It's a Kenmore. So yeah. Okay. Hey y'all. So today is April 5th. I move into my apartment on April the 9th. So, I get my keys on the 9th. I'm moving in on Saturday, which is the 10th. So, we are in... We're in hell week, okay? <laughs> okay, so, basically what I am doing right now is... Um, I took my lunch at work, and I'm going to the apartment complex, which is literally, like, 10 minutes down the road. Um, and I'm going to just check up on everything and make sure all the last-minute loose ends tied up before I move in on Saturday Friday whatever day you want to call it um so yeah I'm just trying to see what the freak is going on and what all else I need to do because I feel like every step of the way it's always been some oh well, you haven't done this oh well, you haven't done that I'm like okay well is that my fault or y'all fault So I'm just trying to see what else I have to do before um, I move in. Because I'm, I'm tired of the confusion, honestly, that we've been having. So, so yeah. I'm, I'm going to the apartment to see what's going on. Make sure everything is good. I've got my electric set up. I've got my Wi-Fi set up. They're going to send me the box in a few days like the stuff to hook it up in a few days and then also I have my uh, 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 what else do I have oh I got my renter's insurance so yeah everything should be pretty much cool at this point I'm just making sure I'm good because they called me Saturday and was like, you still ain't done this? I said, girl, I did that like two weeks ago. Like, no cap. Like, I did that two weeks ago. Don't say I didn't because I did. Um, but yeah, but we haven't received it. Well, that's a personal problem because they were supposed to send it to you. But anywho, I am, uh, y'all like my heart, y'all like my heart. <laughs> But I have to start packing. I have to start getting stuff together. I haven't packed anything yet. So, 
so it's definitely going to be a bit it's gonna be a bit stressful this week for sure but yeah other than that i mean that's just that's just really an update on what's going on um we're just gonna be packing this week and i really hate packing because i have too much stuff i have so much stuff y'all but it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay but I, I do have too much stuff like oh god i do you're cute i see them dang i'm really gonna be living there that shit is crazy bro like this is really about to be my home this is about to be my home like and i'm just reflecting because i know i'm gonna have to like I don't know. Oh shit. Oh shit. I always do that. I'm, okay, embarrassing. But no, I'm just reflecting because, you know, this is just what I've been dreaming of for such a long time. And to finally. I just want to show y'all that there is nothing out here. Like, like, I don't mind sharing this because there is literally nothing out where I'm going to be staying. So, that's a good thing. But that's also a bad thing because I'm gonna have to drive for everything. But yes, I just dug in my nose. I don't care. You you got a nose ring, you know what's going on, man. <laughs> but yes, honey. I think that's the dog park. Okay, that works. That works for sweetie. That works. Uh, but yeah, it's just a bit, it's just so out of the loop but it's gonna be okay because um, we gonna have to figure it out. It's gonna have to be okay because this is where I'm at. <laughs> I'm gonna go pay some money next week. <laughs> oh shit, god damn. But all right, um, I'll holler back at y'all when I get back in the car. Okay, so I just got back in my car. Everything is good to go. I got the proper amount of money that I'm going to have to pay on Friday for my keys. So I'll probably get a check um, drawn up for that maybe like next week or so. Um, like maybe like Thursday when I take my lunch. And then I'll come up here on Friday, pay, get my keys, go check out my apartment. It's not this building I'm sitting in front of, it's the building on the other side. But yeah, I'm on the third floor. It's not that bad, cause at least you know, I won't have nobody on top of me doing all that bumpity bumpity, but I just don't wanna walk up all them stairs, but it's whatever, like, got to pay the cost of you the boss. You know, one day I'm gonna be in a penthouse suite. So, you know, I just gotta get ready for all of that. I just gotta get ready for my penthouse suite, period. That's just how I'm gonna look at it. But yes, I'm about to go fully take my lunch. Um, so y'all probably talk to y'all when I get home and when I start actually packing because that's just a whole nother thing. That's a whole nother thing. And I honestly, when I post this, I may, I don't know. I may cut it up to where it's like, okay, just the pre-moving stuff. And then like I can do packing maybe another video. I don't know, I'll figure out. Cause I have so much footage. I, footage. I need to just coordinate, get together, organize and edit. So I can go and post it. So y'all can see what the freak I've been working on all this time and why I've been ghost on the interwebs or at least on YouTube. Ghetto, ghetto. It's okay, it's a work jacket, it's a work jacket, it's a work jacket, we'll get it up. But yeah, we should be fine, we should be cool, so. That's just pretty much all I got for y'all. Um, it's where I'm at with it. See y'all later. Um, I forgot to add this. I don't know if I've told y'all, but I got Sweetie registered as an emotional support dog. So I don't have to pay pet deposits on her, which is a blessing because that extra three hundred dollars could go towards something else, like for for real, like for real, for real. No, yeah. So, so blessed that I was able to get that worked out, organized, and fixed. Uh, so yeah, 
I think that's the last update for the apartment that I, I I have honestly at the moment that I could think of. I had to come back and tell y'all about the plan the get her registered as an emotional support dog. But it only cost a hundred dollars to get her registered as an emotional support dog. And what was really funny was the so I the letter that they sent the letter that they sent in regards to her being an emotional support dog, um, like the official documents that I can give to people, basically it was like Avery's disability and disorder had in high stress has um, leads me to believe that she would benefit from having an emotional support dog to help her um, to alleviate some of the conditions and issues and stuff with her disorder and her symptoms and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, damn, like, Y'all make it seem like a bit need some medication or something. I'm like, what is going on? Wait. I know I'm a little off of the brain. My chemicals ain't all the way balanced, but they was really in the letter dragging it. Like, if I can, I may find it and post this on. <laughs> they literally were dragging it. But that's just for anybody who's looking for an apartment. And if you have an animal and you don't want to pay, because I've seen some apartments, it's $200 pet deposit, $300 pet fee. Um, like all together, so you pay five hundred dollars total just to have your animal with you in the apartment, and then on top of all of that, it's like fifteen, twenty dollars a month, twenty five dollars a month on the pet rent. That can go to hell, honestly. So I got Sweetie Rester as an emotional support dog to beat the system. Um, now the, the the who I went through said that I'd have to get it renewed in a year, but what I'm going to do is. So I, I don't really know. Maybe I can just leave it for like my next apartment. I don't know. Because I don't know if I'm going to stay in that apartment another year. We would definitely have to see in May. Oh shit. In like a, what's it called? March of April 2022. That's a long time. Oh lord. I'm just forgetting what's going on. Okay. So we're back in Nebraska. I was here last time. I took a picture on this. But I didn't like get a full view. This is definitely the vibe. The look. Even like the rust colored chair with the wood, like this is this is very very. This is it right here. We love this. Hey um, so um, today is April seventh. Yeah. Um, it's almost nine o'clock. I'm supposed to get my keys from my apartment in two days. I ain't packed a lick or nothing. Um. My sister is helping me. She started putting, not my sister, and she started putting the trash bags on the clothes. Um, nothing is packed, guys. Like, I have stuff right here. The closet is full of junk. I got my clothing rack. I got my dresser, a little vanity. And then I got to clean under the bed, cause sweetie. Ooh, demolished. So yeah, so we finna get up and we finna start packing. The goal for today is to pack the closet. And why I'm calling this thing like it's Instagram. Um, but the goal for today is to pack the closet and to clear out some of the drawers in my dresser of things that I don't use often or at all. Not, not often, let me not say that, but... To clear out the clothes that are like, I'm not going to wear in the, in the next two days. So, it's almost everything except my sleep clothes, socks, underwears, workout clothes. So, yeah. These things are unique. So, the trash bags we have are not big enough for the trash bag method. Trash is mad at me. Oh, shoot. That's how I know my camera. Oh, well, yeah. I don't know, y'all. I'm tired. We're gonna keep it just like that, though. <laughs>
Say hey, y'all. Say hey, sweetie. Hey, girl. Anywho, so today's progress is I packed up my vanity corner. I packed up this. That's empty. I got all the, the, the rest of the shoes that were in here. Um, so I got, this is full of like knickknacks and stuff. And then this is, it says shoes and purses. So yeah, I'm pretty much done packing my room. Like my room is done. I'm done packing. Um, there's nothing under my bed that I really need. So I'll probably come back another day to clean out from under there and get sweetie stuff. Maybe like Saturday. Oh, I'm fast forwarding too fast to this. Um, okay, so today, today is actually my moving day, April 8th. Um, but I guess my dumbass misread my Lisa letter and I thought tomorrow was my moving day. So the leasing office called me and they were like, Avery, like, you gonna come get your keys or what, boo? You don't appear every day. I have been up there like the past two days. Um, they was like, you gonna come get your keys? I was like, I'm gonna come get them tomorrow. I'm supposed to come get them. There she go. I'm gonna come get them tomorrow. I'm supposed to come get them. All right, bro. Um, you wanna go to bed? You wanna go to bed? I'm tired too. I'm finna, oh, so to pack this up, my clothing rack, and then I'm finna go to, I'm finna take a shower and go to bed, like, I'm tired, and I already ate, but yeah, uh, ouch, fuck, but yeah, I am just ready to, I'm, I'm skipping over a lot of things, okay, so the Lisa office called me today, and they were like, it was like one something, and I took my lunch late, so, it's like 120 has to be back by like 140 and i'm like you you gonna come get your kids i was like hey girl i'm coming get them tomorrow it ain't gotta come get them today no today is your moving day i'm like mm, no it's not it's tonight and they were like mm, look at your looking statement and i said mm, you're right wow embarrassing <laughs> so i um uh, i just I told her that hmm, I told her that um well my rent is insurance and my electricity doesn't come on until tomorrow because when I got it set up. So she was like, Okay, that's okay. Um just come in tomorrow and get your keys and I'll just push your moving day to tomorrow. She was like, You got a twelve month lease or a thirteen month lease? I said, oh, I think it was thirteen. It was a twelve month lease. What I had initially. But um, the 13-month lease, I got a free month, free full. My first full month was free. So that would be May. And that's good for me. Oh, my face is so fat. But that's good for me because I am going to... I'm going to use... That's going to help me get more stuff established in my apartment sooner. Because I'm going to have to use that check for my rent and my bills. So yeah, so that's that. Um, so I said I came home, and my mom was like, "Well, you can just move tomorrow to see if they can move you tomorrow, cause I gotta get movers." So um, so the movers are coming tomorrow between four and six to get all the stuff together. So that's why I'm like. Mm -hmm. But I should be okay. Like, I should be okay. Like, I'm done at this point. I'm packing my clothing rack. I gotta do something with the shoes in my closet. But other than that, that's it. But those are just shoe boxes. So, I can always go and pack some shoe boxes. But, yeah. That's where we're at currently with the move out stuff. Very, 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 very proud of myself for, for making this process as easy and as seamless as possible. Because... I don't have a lot of stuff anymore or that I, I used to. I have a lot of shoes, but I got rid of a lot of clothes. I got rid of a decent amount of shoes. See, I'm just, I'm doing pretty good for myself, for me, for me. So, yeah. 
I'm finished packing this clothing rack. Then I'm done. I'm going to shower and go to sleep.